Hello everyone and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called The Mutated Reality, a game that was actually submitted for the haunted PS1 Summer of Screams game jam. And uh, it's actually something you can download for free, so check down below in the description, you'll find the links and the details down there. So, I don't know a great deal about this one, and if you check the download page, you won't find a great deal of information about this, but you will find references to the Tower of Babel, for instance. You'll find references to humanity trying to ascend to get something that they're not worthy of. So it sounds interesting. I'm intrigued. If you are as well, keep watching. If you enjoy it, let me know by liking the video. Leave your thoughts down below at the end. Here we go. Let's begin a new game of the mutated reality. And here we are. Oh, wow. What a piece of shit car. <laughs> Really, really thin wheels. I love it. Okay. Um, so I can't get back in, it seems. I can't leave. Okay. All right. Well. Oh. There's a blockage. Can we... Okay, there's crouching. There's jumping. There's running. I got a flashlight. It... Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, wow. Apparently I'm really strong as well. If I can move that rock out of the way. Not bad, right? Okay, so, uh, yeah, obviously going for the retro look, the retro feel. Okay, what is this? Oh, is that a sign? It's a plaque, yeah. Uh, this place is a message and part of a system of messages. Pay attention to it. Okay, will do. Will do. I don't suppose we can go through... No, we can't go through the uh, the bushes and the foliage and stuff like that, so... Up and over. What about if you go... Oh, hang on. <laughs> if you go over there, or rather, hang on, if this one gets pulled out a little bit, and that one can sort of go in the corner... A little bit like that. Hey, we made it. Alright. Puzzle one complete. Ooh. Can I? Ah, hang on. Oh. Oh, I just wanted the axe. I didn't want to give it a push. Or did I? No, actually, I think I did. That gets us over the fence, which apparently is strong as fuck. Still can't take the axe, though. What does this say? Sending this message was important to us. We considered ourselves to be a powerful culture. You considered yourselves? Not anymore? Okay. Up and over, right? Alrighty. This way. There is a little bit of an opening. I quite like the look of the game already, but in an area like this, I mean, it seems maybe a little bit too pixelated. It's kind of like harsh on the eyes, you know what I mean? This is a bit better. Right. Okay, let's see. This place is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. And yet, there's plaques everywhere. Right. The bridge has fallen away. There's another axe! I still can't pick it up, though. Really? Holy shit, I am seriously, seriously strong. And actually, considering the length of that, that... Maybe that's a good enough bridge, you know? Hang on. Right. If I get the right angle here. In fact, it might have been easier if I just used the other one, but... Yeah. If I just leave it about there? Okay, it supports my weight. And we've made it across. Okay. We are really steaming through this game. This way, yeah, there's again a little bit of an opening and yet another plaque, maybe another puzzle. Nothing valued is here. Okay, so you're basically just telling me that there's nothing to see here. You're basically Officer Barb Rady. I get it. Okay. Can we, hang on. Ooh. What have we got on board the carriage, I wonder? Maybe something hidden at the back. Move all the boxes. Yep, even that big one. Hmm, hang on. Let's move that over there. Can I just squeeze around? There you go. Oh. 
Oh, there, mm, there's a little bit of a gap there. I suppose what I could... Hmm. Can I? Let's see. If that was moved over there... I can crouch, right? Can I crouch jump? Oh, I, 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 I can, I can almost do it. I can almost do it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's go this way. Okay. Can I move this door out of the way as well? Yeah. Well, kind of. There's a few boxes there. Let's just make sure that. Everything can be opened, okay? There you go. So if I just push all these out... Or rather, pull them out... <laughs> We're getting some uh, interesting physics in this game, it seems like. With some haunting sounds in the distance as well. I just... I can't squeeze around some of them for whatever reason. There you go, there you go. That's more like it. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> or are we? I don't know. Oh, actually, that, that chaos actually is kind of what I'm going for, because I, I want to maybe get on top of this thing? What the fuck was that? Oh, right, there's a, there's a tree interfering. Yeah, I mean, if I can't just jump on it like that... Hmm... <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I can squeeze out and then just, like, climb on top of that, that'd be great. I don't know if I can. Oh, that's perfection. That <laughs> That's obviously not the way you're meant to do it. I think you're actually meant to use the hole. And I think I was kind of on the right lines by, like, crouch jumping, but... Well, you know, we're on top of the train now, and it looks like we are actually going the right way. Okay. Down here, it looks like there's another plaque on the building. Okay. Something in there? Wait, what's this? Caution? Radiation area. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't think I'm wearing any protective clothing, but we'll see. What is here was dangerous and repulsive to us. These messages are a warning about danger. Honestly, I'm quite liking it so far. Yeah. It really did sound like there was something bashing on the shutter there, but... Huh. Alright, uh, what does this one say, then? The danger is in a particular location. It increases towards the centre. The centre of danger is here, of a particular size and shape. And below us. Below us, you say. Well, this looks like an elevator. It... Green means go, right? Yep. We're good to go. I think it's working. And thankfully, so is my flashlight. All right, well, here we are. Okay. Oh, right. A uh, handwritten note. They told me not to take the job. Said it was too well paid. Said jobs this well paid you don't come back from. How wrong they were. Breathing in the dirt, the ash, my skin blistering from my bone. I've never felt this kind of euphoria. Is there more? There's more. Okay. There's something down there. We all know it. We don't talk about it. We don't talk at all. We just dig. Uh, what is this something? The danger is still present in your time as it was in ours. Hmm. Whoever, you know, put the stuff on the plaques. Quite forward thinking. They're all warnings of a sort. Alright. Well, maybe there's a... Uh a similarity to the Tower of Babel story. Maybe it's not going up, maybe it's going down. There's another one here. The danger is to the body, and it can kill. Okay, well hopefully I don't actually get involved with this danger. Hang on a minute, we got a little lever here. It looks like this machinery is missing some wheels. Yeah, some cogs. Some gears, I guess. Is that one of them? I... Sounds like something scratching at the walls. I don't think it was this, was it? 
Ah, okay, well, yeah, all right, let's see. Does it fit? Yes, apparently it does, over there. <laughs> good, good. All right, so we need to find two more. And there's two ways to go, so... Um, well, let's go this way. It seems to actually lead up. Maybe that's what I kind of want. I've got a load of candles here. I don't think I brought any matches to light the way, though. Bit of a dead end. Nope. Nope, not a dead end. There's a hole here. All right. Maybe I was hearing scratching from through here somewhere. I don't know. Well, hang on. Is that another note? I think that might be another note. Right next to what seems to be another blockage, another cave-in. Yeah, let's see. The progress is slow. It's like no one feels it how I feel it. No one gets it like I get it. We have a connection, the buried thing and I. She calls to me in my dreams and in my nightmares. In my dreams, she's my savior. In my nightmares, she's my queen. Okay. I, um... I don't know why I came here in the first place, but I'm thinking it was probably a mistake. Maybe I should be listening to the plaques, you know? Maybe I should be taking them in. Oh boy, I don't know where to go. Um, let's go right. Yeah, straight ahead here. Let's see where this goes. It's okay, it's okay. It's, it's a cave, right? There's dripping water. Hmm. You could go up here, I suppose. Okay, alright, so there is actually crouch jumping in this game, yeah. So, <laughs> that box puzzle on the train. Yeah, I really fucked that one up, but, uh... Alright, another note, and then looks like it continues. By day, I dig with the others, the huge tunnels that go to the side, or shallowly descend. I pick up gold like it means anything to me anymore. By night, when the last man is asleep, I dig some more, a spiral leading down into the earth. It takes everything in me not to dig straight down, but I wouldn't be able to get out if I did that. I wonder if I'd mind. Man, all right, okay. He's obsessive. Who is she? What is this thing? What are you, what are you digging towards? What's so dangerous? This really does feel like a curiosity is going to kill the cat kind of moment. Right, there we go. There's another wheel. Um, hmm. It's going to be kind of awkward to go through there again, but uh, I'll have to do it, I suppose. It was a circle. She is testing me. My love, I will find you. I will dig. Straight down. Hmm, maybe he gave into it. Let me just leave this here. Where does this go? Is it just a dead end, or...? Oh. Oh, maybe this is him digging straight down. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that... Ah, I think that uh, that actually might be the elevator. This might be a nice little shortcut. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's definitely better than, you know, going back through those tunnels. So, yeah, let me just grab this, bring it with me. Yeah, the, uh, the, the physics, it seems, in this game, or, like, collision with the player and, uh, and other physics objects. A little bit ropey, but, you know, it's a game jam game. It was just made in, you know, a few weeks, right? So, I get it. I do. A few little things have, uh, have not been ironed out. So, middle? Yeah, okay, so there's one on the right, and I assume that's going to be somewhere down here. So let's go down here. I hope you can see this, by the way. It's a very, very dark game. I'll see what I can do in post-production. But, um, yeah. All right, just pull them open. It's like a penumbra or something. In fact, this is this is quite penumbra-esque. The beginning of Overture, specifically. Um, what we got here? The only people that work here are desperate. I think that's why we don't talk to each other. What would we say? Is it your kid or your wife, or is it you? Did you have nowhere else to go? No, there's no point. The only thing we have in common is whatever this humming feeling is in the back of my head. And I don't want to ask them if they feel it too, because I'm scared of the answer. 
but uh, it wasn't it wasn't just him. It's just a group of people obsessed with digging, spiraling down, maybe going straight down to find whatever this thing is. I'm into this. I'm I'm really into this. Yeah. Hang on. Is there a... Oh, we can move shit. Well, of course, we can move, like, tree trunks. I, 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 For some reason, I just assumed that we couldn't move shells, but... Yeah, there is actually a gap back there. Um, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. What have we got through here? Okay. Another note. Another batch of 12 arrived today, sent by Blackburn, of course. He didn't even bother giving them torches. He knew we had spare down here from the last lot. Found Ellis in the groundwater. He had no business being that end of the mine. Told me he was scared of it. Told me he'd always been scared of water since he was a kid. Told me that that was why he was a miner. He liked the solid ground. He liked knowing what was underneath him. Hmm. Just pray that you never find an underground river or something like that. <laughs> oh. This door's locked. So. What's through here? I'm hoping it's going to be another wheel, another cog, another gear. I can go up here? I can, yep. Ah. Oh, actually. <laughs> come on, over the lip, there we are. Whoa. Whoa, okay, I'm, mm, I'm feeling safer up here. Maybe I'll just chill out here. But there is a hole in the corner, though. And I think this would drop into the locked room. Oh, it's not locked, it's just blocked, barricaded from this side. But who did it? I don't see a body in here. Maybe someone barricaded it and then climbed out the top, but then... Hmm. <laughs> anyway, what's this? My love, I know I'll never see you again. I hand these letters to the supervisor, but I know they don't reach you. Where do they go? Does Blackburn read them? Do they get thrown in the river with the filth? I write to you these days like you don't even exist. I cough and I cough, but nothing comes up. I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it growing. I know it's all in my mind, but I can feel it. Man, okay. What the hell is going on down here? And what was that noise? Hmm, okay, so I can hide in the darkness if I choose, but I won't be able to see anything. Something over here? Oh. That may have been it. The door falling to the floor. Scratching. Maybe it's one of the miners? One of the diggers? They're still here? I don't know. There's another note down here, though. I tried to leave today. Nobody stopped me. They watched me with wide eyes as I went. I stood at the threshold of the mine for hours. I think I saw two sunrises, but I may have been mistaken. There were tears in my eyes as I screamed into the forest. When I went back down, nobody looked. Nobody even noticed. People coming down is common. Anyone going back up? Now, that's a thing to look at. <sighs> wow. I want to know what this thing is. I want to grab a pickaxe. I want to dig. Alright, well there's a little bit of a threshold here. Maybe not a point of no return, because it looks like I can fall down and with that I should be able to jump back up. And there is a note down here, and hopefully a, a cog or a wheel or something. Let's see. They've stopped feeding us. I can't say I'm surprised. We all stopped eating weeks ago. We huddle together around fires and breathe the smoke in as deep as we can, in hopes it'll send us to sleep. What the fuck? I fear the only way out is down. Their minds are just completely corrupted by this thing, whatever it is. And maybe mine is too, because, well, I just keep on following them, you know? Hey, there it is, right? That's it! Okay, we found it. That's the third one. So we can place that back on the machine and see exactly what that does. Do I need these boxes, I wonder? Is there anything on top of them? Ah, uh, hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We will see. Uh, 
I don't know what sort of fucking magic I just did there, but I think I basically double jumped. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I think maybe I'm meant to use the little boxes, but you don't need to. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Look at this mound here. Why is that left, just out of interest? Seems kind of odd. Just soil piled up, I suppose. It's got to go somewhere, right? Hmm. So, yeah, back through here. No cheeky shortcut this time. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I, I quite like it. I don't know where it's going, but I definitely want to find out. Right, let's try this again. Hey, now we're talking, right. <laughs> oh, look, another plaque. Okay, the way is at least open to us if we want to leave. Uh, the danger is unleashed only if you substantially disturb this place physically. Like, by digging, by swinging a pick at the rocks. Like what the miners were doing, day in, day out, obsessively. Wonderful. Okay. This is where they slept. If they did sleep. Okay, we got a plaque and a note. The plaque says, The form of the danger is an emanation of energy. Okay. And somebody wrote, Useless miners. I thought I could count on the working class to get their hands dirty. I thought they were used to the cold and the dark, but they keep falling into pits and breathing, breaking their necks or drowning because they can't swim. Useless. I sent one of my best supervisors to make sure there are no more accidents, along with the next 12 men. This investment is starting to bore me. They can use the equipment from the last lot. Should save me a few pennies. Wow. Wow, you're just losing people left, right and centre. But still, the work must continue. Why? To what end? That didn't sound good. Well, that, that really doesn't sound good. It, oh, did I see something moving there? Something's, something is moving right there. High levels of radiation can be harmful. Okay, right. Is that thing... Okay, there is something there. There's like a... There's a man. One of the diggers? One of the miners, maybe? You just knocked this down. Anything in here? Hey. Oh damn, right. Okay, yeah, doors are not an issue for this guy. Day one. I've been here one day, and there have been no deaths. I call that progress. The mine is strange. I have this feeling like I'm not in the ground at all. Like I'm high in the sky, above the clouds. Like the air is thin and I can't breathe. I suppose anyone could have an accident in the dark. I've ordered more torches. Right. Here we go. Um, there's another note down here. Uh, I've been told my supervisor has died. Apparently he hit his head against the wall multiple times. Clumsy fool. I've decided to go down there myself with the next lot. Time someone with intelligence whipped these boys into shape. <laughs> and let me guess, you never came back. Good boy. What have we got here? This thing is in here. Oh, hang on. I think I'm actually still trying to use this as a door. <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense. Okay, there's actually a note down here as well. It seems like I'm reading these notes in real time, which is kind of what I'm worried about, especially when the monster's in the same fucking room as me. Day 70. I dug with the rest of them today. There are only five left, and no one from back home will take any amount of money to come out here. No matter. We're almost there. The men and I worked for 20 hours before they started dropping off from exhaustion. Me? I'm writing this, then getting straight back to it. No work, I think, those boys. <laughs> oh boy. You just can't avoid it, can you? You're as obsessed as the rest. Whoever this guy is, he's really good at getting rid of doors. I only saw a brief glimpse. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, well, that's why the boxes are here, right? Oh, sh 
shit. Okay, right, well, um... <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't seem safe. At all. Okay, so this is where you went. In here somewhere? Is that another... That could be another lever. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it's something I think maybe opened up. Through here? Yeah, let's just follow the trail of fallen doors. It seems to be working out for me, honestly. And hey, yeah, let's read the notes along the way. As long as I'm fairly concealed, it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, we're going back to day 27 now. Uh, this place is driving me insane. I can feel it. I want to cut my losses and get out of here, but I can't shake the feeling that we're mere inches from striking gold. Every time someone takes a break, every time we finish for the day, I get an itching. Like we're almost there. Like we can't stop digging. I sign their paychecks, so they keep digging. Deaths are up. No matter. Men are cheap. Gold can buy anyone. But is it really about the gold now? Hmm. I think by day 70 the gold didn't really matter. I think it's, it's a humanoid. I don't know if it's human though. It's changed in the darkness after so many days of digging. I don't know. Right, so we're back at the beginning. Oh, it was that that I heard. Okay, okay. Well, let's go this way. It looks like I'm going to sort of slink past it, actually. We just <laughs> we just sort of followed each other all the way around. Right. Okay. Wow. All right, well, this is a big tunnel. And another plaque. This place is best shunned and left uninhabited. I'm sorry, there's at least two people down here. My hands. My hands. When will I find her? When will she find me? I'm losing my fingers. For her. Just a few more inches. So I'm getting the impression that, like, the tools had broken and you were actually trying to dig with your fingers and scratching away at them. What? <laughs> what is she? What is this thing that you always seem to be inches away from? What caused that guy to be that guy? Well, whatever it is, hopefully it's through here somewhere. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can't actually go back. That's maybe a good thing. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Will I ever see daylight again? Honestly, unlikely. Okay. Um, unless I, you know, I guess I am really strong. Maybe I could just lift this up. No, I can't. Not this time. <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like there is a note over here on the wall. Section 1.1.3. The pay will be $3.17 an hour. This applies to all hours in the facility, including sleep and recreational time. Employees will be required to sign an NDA upon arrival at the facility. Failure to sign this document will result in immediate termination of the contract. Okay. Uh, full hazard pay will be provided, as well as necessary safety equipment and protective gear. And that must be worn at all times. Failure to comply will result in immediate termination with forfeiture of severance pay. Don't fuck around, basically. Understood. Understood. Alright, so it looks like we got maybe two notes here, actually. From the beginning, creatures have known that there is a thing in the forest. Birds would not fly over it. Insects would congregate at its threshold, but not cross. For they all knew that to cross was dangerous. To cross was to not return. No fossils were to be found in the forest. No ancient relics. Nothing of value. When the early humans found the forest, they marked the surrounding trees, carved warnings into the bark and the boulders, painted the caves, the image of three men, then two men, then one man, then none. The area remained unexplored for millennia. At least, there was no trace of life. The area was left in peace, and in a way, 
I think that's what it wanted. It never asked to cause harm. It doesn't feel malicious to me. It feels like a fire in the pit of your stomach. A fire that you want to feed. A fire you can't stop feeding. Even when you're burning. Jesus. I just want to keep on reading more. This is, this is really good. I like this. Yeah. It all changed when the miners moved in. They dug and plundered and hacked and stole. They scratched her. The forest thing. The fire. They poked along her skin and cut her golden hair. We arrived after the miners were long gone. We knew there was something here. We wanted to poke and prod it for, for ourselves. We wanted to get our readings and our promotions and buy new cars and houses. I think curiosity took over after a while, but greed drove us here, like it did the miners. I think she sensed that. Even when we took to loving her, took to spending hours exploring just to understand, she knew it was not real love, that it was always going to be about what we could take. But she let me go. What do you mean by that? She let you go? She, like, the obsession... She let the obsession go for you? Or... I don't know. Huh. I wonder if we'll ever meet her. Or we'll ever see a representation of her. Or are we in her right now? Is this entire area her? I don't know. Let's keep on reading. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. When we found the structures, the others wanted to go deeper, see what other secrets she had. I refused. I said we should leave her alone, but they never listened to me. They brought the waste in anyway. That was the day I left. I couldn't stand to watch her be treated like some landfill, like a gaping pit, like anything but holy. I'd seen others stand at the entrance and scream for hours. My steps came slowly, but they did come, eventually, shaky. Suddenly, I could remember being born. I had been grown and cultivated and, and been blessed by her. Woman, mother, God. I had been deep inside her and she had allowed me that euphoria. She could have kept me close to her for centuries, but she loved me too much. I'm the only one who knows what she wants. I'm the only one who knows she desires peace. That's why I made the plaques. Please, leave her alone. She doesn't want to hurt you. Well, at least in my case, the plaques didn't work. Curiosity is probably going to kill the cat. But yeah, I must go deeper. Like the miners before. I gotta keep on going down. Even if there is no way back up. Section 17.1.3, Amendment C. Okay, following on from an internal investigation, the following has been decided as appropriate action to the newly coined depth psychosis. Okay. If the supervisor is concerned that an employee is beginning to suffer from depth psychosis, he or she is permitted to take relevant action, i.e. docking the employee's wages, the employee's rations, or disciplining the employee. If depth psychosis continues and the employee becomes violent, the supervisor is permitted to take relevant action, i.e. restraining the employee, removing the employee from the reach of other employees, removing the employee from the facility, uh, lethal force is not permitted, however. Okay, alright. So, what, hang on, what was that exactly? That was... Are we going to see an Amendment D? <laughs> and this is like, okay, yeah, I'm going to retract that. Basically, violent force is required. Right. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Ooh, looks like another machine. Ah. Something's missing. Number two is missing. It's a lever. Pressure seems too high. Okay, hang on. There is a note here. Um, what's the pressure situation? Let's see. Uh, not only did we lose the manual for the damn machine, some bastard lost the second lever. I'm writing this down so we all don't forget how to use it. The last guy never came back from his expedition and took his know-how with him. All we know now is to make sure the pressure's low and the levers make 13. And what does this machine do exactly? <laughs> I suppose we'll find out when we get it running. 13 without 2. Oh, that's doable. 6, 4, and 3 should do it, right? Although, maybe we need to find the second one to make sure that it's put up. Maybe it's not going to work. But 6 and 4, 10, 3, 13. Still, the pressure seems too high. I think we need to find the lever, to be perfectly honest. Because that should work, in theory. 
It's not like he dropped it down here and no one checked, right? <laughs> it's like in the most obvious place ever. Under the table. No? <laughs> Alright. Well, I haven't spotted one so far. And I suppose it's got to be down here because I don't think I can go back. But uh, I'll keep an eye out. Not under the stairs? No, no. This way? Okay. Ah. Did that help with the pressure, I wonder? I can still kind of hear it going through the pipes. Hmm. Well, you know, seeing as I'm down here, let's just check. Let's see if that actually does do something. Oh! expecting music <laughs> and that's not background music that's actually coming from somewhere down here maybe this basically starts up an organ or something <laughs> alright so that way's a dead end there's nothing down there let's go up it's not exactly what I want to do because I just want to keep on going down I want to dig straight down but it'll do Right. So what we got here? Oh fuck! Amendment D! Okay, so let, let's see what's changed. The recommendation is to restrain the employee in the medical bay. If they show no signs of improving in the week, they are to be removed from the facility. Lethal force is permitted, but it's to be avoided. Okay, alright. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but <laughs> there you go. Unless, of course, there's an E. Maybe there's an E and an F and a G. And it gets to, like, I don't know, J or something. And they're like, fuck this, just kill them. Right. Crouch jumping, there you go. I, I don't know why... I oh, hang on. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't do that on the train, honestly. This is really good. For a game jam game, this is actually pretty exceptional. There's a lot going on here. Okay, just remove that. There you go. What's this? Ah, oh, it's a nice shortcut back. That's where we started. I went through there. This has opened, though. So maybe it wasn't just the music? Oh, I can barely see. Really? I should... What was that? No, just grunts and groans of the caves and stuff, I suppose. I kinda gotta stick to a wall. I've gotta have a landmark, in a way. Sounds like the music's coming from over there. What's this? Amendment E! Oh my god! Okay, so it completely replaces Amendment D. Uh, lethal force is permitted. Right. Okay. Remove the employee. Lethal force is permitted. Right. Okay. Are we going to get an F? I hope we find an F. What have we got here? Lower levels access. Oh, okay. it's locked? Or maybe it's blocked. Like before. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's another way around it. Alright, so let's go this way. Let's, let's find the source of this music. The music seems very out of place. there. It looks like we've got blockages and cave-ins both the other directions. There's a door over... Yeah, this might be it. Through there. By the flickering light. Oh! Another locked one? or Another locked or blocked door. I can't really tell, but... Hang on. No, I think... I can just about see something. It's about sort of eye level where it stops. I think this might it might be another box. It's a blocked door, I'm pretty sure. So there's got to be a way around. It's not this, is it? No. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Are you serious? Holy shit. 
That is a long way down. I can actually hear my heartbeat, and I'm, yeah, I'm not too surprised. Okay, yeah, let's not, let's not. I want to go down, but not like that. Okay, so let's try the other tunnel. Straight across from this one. Maybe uh, I'm conflating the two things. Maybe, you know, spinning that wheel, turning that machine on. Maybe it didn't actually start the music, but, you know, it just so happened that somebody just started a record player, a gramophone or something at the same time. Alright, hang on. Another one? Blocked or locked? It doesn't seem blocked this time, actually. It's not going back and forth quite so much. It might be actually locked. Another cave-in. I think maybe another cave-in back there. Something on the floor. Right, so let's see. That, yeah, that's a no-go. Down here. Nothing hidden back there. No hole in the wall this time. Okay, um... It's gotta be this way. It's gotta be this way. I haven't seen a plaque in a while, have I? Maybe at this point, that guy just gave up. I mean, if you come this far, it's going to keep on going, right? So, blah blah blah, is the various mutations we've observed in most of the facility staff. Mutations include swelling of hands and feet to almost double the size. Uh, new hazard gear has been ordered to compensate for this. While this particular affliction affects 90% of staff, the most disturbing and difficult to describe is the mutations that take effect on those who work deeper down in the facility. While this is only 5% of the workforce, the effects have put a halt to a lot of our progress. Those who work in the deepest level of the facility, while also experiencing the swelling of hands and feet, have also been reported to be experiencing swelling of the eyes and tongue, so much so that these appendages have begun to bulge out of their face. This effect is not helped by the rapid weight loss, pulling back the skin of the face so much, so much that... so, so that almost two-thirds of the eye is visible. Wow, okay. Because of this haunting effect, we have halted communication between floors so as not to alarm the remaining workers. Right. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want that hindrance, would you? Okay, that's probably where we're going. Oh, there you go. Uh, another view into the abyss. Yeah, heartbeat again. Alright, well... This way. Maybe this is going to get me into the lower levels. Or to the music. Or down. I don't know. I might be able to remove this, right? I don't know if I'd want to, actually. Is there something on the other side? There's nothing on the other side. Maybe I don't want to remove that one. Down here, though. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. <laughs> yep. I'm just as obsessed as those miners were. here. And I think another note. Yep. It's always down, isn't it? It's always keep on going down. It is also inferred that the internal organs are subject to swelling also. The affected staff's breathing has become increasingly laboured and loud, so much so that it can often be heard in the upper levels of the facility during nighttime when there's silence. We've informed the upper levels that this sound is simply the machinery working overtime during the night. And they bought that? They believe that? Jeez. Okay, uh, those affected also experience rotting of the flesh, in some places coming away to reveal muscle, tendon, and bone. Any attempts to treat these wounds has been met with violence. We have tried to speak to them many times, but they have become almost non-verbal, communicating solely through grunts and moans. While these staff members seem to somehow still be doing their job, you have our assurance that they are under close supervision at all times. Oftentimes, one member will begin to try and dig through the floor of the facility, spurring on the other staff members to join him or her, but some disciplinary action soon puts a stop to this. Just trying to keep them in line. Wow. Really, these notes... These notes have kind of made this game. They are providing a really, really good backstory. Without them, this would just be an industrial cavern complex walking sim, you know? But they've uh, they've made this something else. Here we are. Alright. 
We are getting closer to this music. I think that's actually our destination. We're going to find the source. And maybe another remembrance. <laughs> Up there? Okay. So how long do you think it's been since that plaque was put up, for instance? How long do you think it's been since miners were down here, digging? Is that it? That speaker? And that's it. That's what I saw. It's the box. It was the box all along. Right. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's listen to that as we read another note. The nuclear waste is changing. It's been down there for two months now, and the radiation levels coming off of it are actually increasing. In just four weeks, the Rutherford... Uh, the Rutherfords, rather, have gone up 10% and seem to be climbing by the minute. The implications of this are vast, plus the mutations on the staff have been fascinating. We now possess a form of enhanced nuclear waste which, if buried near an enemy location, could corrupt a community without ever being detected. It's strange. Sometimes, when I'm on the bottom level, I think I see things moving in the haze. I don't know if it's a mirage or a hallucination. I don't know if it's real or if it's not. We can definitely use this to our tactical advantage. But for now, I've blocked off the bottom level. Testing will continue on the waste. But I would like to request more hazard gear. We've lost too many guys this month to spells. <laughs> Jeez. And off it goes. And that's it. That's it. I can't actually turn it back on. Right, so... Is there a key to the lower levels or something? Can't open these lockers. Did I miss something? Did I- Whoa! Ouch! That hurts my ears! Fucking hell! Okay, swollen hands, swollen feet. Skins pulled back- Oh! 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 Here we are. Right. Oh god, just get me in there. Holy shit. Ah, that's loud. Go! Right. Lower levels. Here we go. Oh no. Was it crashed? Oh, come on! To be continued? Here? Right now? Of course. That's always the way it goes, isn't it? And then, f full version coming soon? Why is there a question mark there? Why am I shrugging? This should not be questioned. This should be a statement. Let's hope there is a full version coming soon. Let's hope there is more to the mutated reality, because I, I want there to be a conclusion. I, I, I need there to be a conclusion. I'm too intrigued. I'm too interested. I'm too invested in this, to be honest. I really want to know what's going on in the lower levels. I want to see more mutations. I want to see her. I want to get to the, the center of her. Oh, boy. All right, well, that was the demo to the mutated reality. Thank you very much for watching. I don't know what you guys thought about it. Maybe you can tell me in the comments down below, but I really quite enjoyed that. I think it ended in a fairly painful way for a couple of reasons. One, we're looking at this screen right here. Two, there was that rather uncomfortable sounding high-pitched noise when I was getting chased by the uh, the swollen miner, I guess. Um, but overall, yeah, I enjoyed it. Fairly simple gameplay, uh, a walking sim with some note reading and some light puzzling, some physics puzzles at the beginning, uh, which I quite enjoyed to get used to the, uh, you know, the, the, the gameplay, the controls and stuff like that. Um, still couldn't quite crack the crouch jump in the train. But, you know, I, I made it around somehow. Life finds a way, you know. <laughs> I made it around eventually. Um, but then the game picked up the pace. It hooked me. It really got me invested. And I didn't think it was going to get me invested, but it really did. When I went down the elevator and I started reading the notes about the miners and their depth psychosis. And they just kept on digging. They wanted to keep on digging straight down. They wanted to get to her. They were always a few inches away. And strangely... I had depth psychosis as well, because I wanted to keep on going down. I wanted to see what was down the next tunnel, what was around the next corner. I wanted to just get to the center of her. And I still do, which is why this is quite painful. So I really do hope there is a full version coming soon. But uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. And here we are. Oh, wow, what a piece of shit car. <laughs> I still can't pick it up, though. Really? That's more like it. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> or are we? I don't know. Down here, it looks like there's another plaque on the building. Is that one of them? 
I... I will find you. I will dig. Straight down. Oh, we can move sh... Well, of course, we can move, like, tree trunks. I... I... <laughs> for some reason, I just assumed that we couldn't move shells. <laughs> Come on. Over the lip. There we are. Uh... I don't know what sort of fucking magic I just did there, but I think I basically double jumped. That didn't sound good. Oh, that, that really doesn't sound good. This thing is in here. Oh, hang on. I think I'm actually still trying to use this as a door. <laughs> oh, I can't actually go back. That's maybe a good thing. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> so, what, hang on, what was that exactly? That was... Are we going to see an Amendment D? <laughs> it's not like he dropped it down here and no one checked, right? <laughs> it's like in the most obvious place ever. Oh! So what we got here? Oh fuck, Amendment D! Okay, yeah, let's not, let's not. I want to go down, but not like that. Because of this haunting effect, we have halted communication between floors so as not to alarm the remaining workers. Right. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want that hindrance, would you? Did I miss something? Did I Whoa! 